What is up guys, this is Mystery, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your Minecraft server online for Windows. So I made this for Mac a while ago, and it got a lot of views, and people were requesting a Windows version, so here it is. So first off, make sure you have your server folder. Um, I prefer if you have it on your desktop, um, so just drag that folder to your desktop, and then have all of these files in here. Make sure you know how to start your server. If you don't, I'll add an annotation uh, right here to for a video on how to create your own Minecraft server and then get this folder. So once you've done that, uh, just make sure you know how to start it and then close the server. Uh, don't start it yet. Now go to your preferred web browser and type ngra and hit enter and just click on the first thing you see. So this is what we're going to use. It's called ngrok and it, it's basically a secure tunnel to localhost to make it so you can create your own Minecraft server and anyone can uh, go on. Um, so go ahead and hit download and just download the OS you're on. It's probably gonna be Windows 64-bit if you're following this tutorial along with me. And you're gonna open it um, and then just drag ngrok right here to the desktop. Once you've done that, you can close this window and go ahead and click on uh, ngrok up here and you're gonna hit sign up. And just sign up for an account and then um, confirm your email address and then go to the dashboard and I'll log in myself and I'll meet you there. Hey guys, we're back. So now um, you're going to see this ngrok dashboard and you're going to see this auth token right here. So basically, don't share this with anyone because this gives people access to your Minecraft server. So I blurred it out for um, security reasons. So what you're going to do is basically copy this one string right here that's the really long um, off token okay and you're gonna do Control c on your keyboard or you can right click it and hit copy once you've done that you can go ahead and close the window now go down here and search for command and click on command prompt it's the first thing you'll see now type C D space D E S K T O P with a capital D. Hit enter. Now you're in your desktop. So now type N G R O K dot E X E space and then auth token, which is one word, and then paste your auth token. And hit enter. And then you should be all set to use ngrok. Now Go down here again and click on command, or sorry, type command prompt and click it, click it again. Type the same things, cd space desktop. And then um, change the directory to your server file. So whatever this folder is called, if it's called server, I'm going to type cd space and then capital S E R V E R. So cd server. And now I'm in my server and I'm going to start my server. Um, most people have some running file, but I'm just going to type java-jar space server.jar and that's going to start my server. So whatever um, server folder you have, you can just go ahead and start the server and make sure you know what port is running on. If you don't know what port it's running on, um, it's most likely going to be 25565 and we'll, we'll go over that later. So make sure this says done and once it does, you can go back to the other command prompt window just by clicking over here. And what you're going to do is type ngrok dot exe space tcp space and then the port. So the port is most likely going to be 25565. If you don't know your port, it's going to be 25565. Otherwise, it will be um, whatever port you specified. And then hit enter. So it's going to load for a second and then it will show um, your IP for your ngrok server. So all you have, <clears throat> this right here is your ngrok or your server IP. So now if you go into Minecraft and enter just this without the TCP colon slash slash in front of it, just this part that I highlighted, it will go directly to your uh, Minecraft server and anyone can access it from across the world. And it's 100% safe. So if you uh, stop your server, and then restart it. As long as ngrok is still open and it shows this, then you can still use the server. 
uh, with, uh, with the same IP. But if you close this window, um, or if you stop the program by doing Control C, um, oops, it's loading. Or if you just basically close this, and um, people won't be able to access your server until you go back and restart it by going to command prompt and then typing cd space desktop and then ngrok.exe space tcp space 25565 or whatever your port is and then it will automatically give you another IP address so every time you stop ngrok it will give you another IP address so make sure you don't stop ngrok if you want to keep the same one and you can stop and start your server as many times as you want I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave comments if you have any issues and leave a like if you if it helped